Hey Libras, welcome back to my channel. So today we're about to do a general reading for your sign. This may or it may not resonate with everyone. Just take it how it applies to you if it does. Okay, so we're just going to jump right in. Libra, you've got the moon card, the queen of pentacles, and also the judgment here. Could be two groups of you. Some of you descended. Yep. I don't know if it was by your own volition or if this person was the one to walk away and end things, but it looks like there may not be any contact between the two of you, all right? And some of you, you're not really tripping off of it either, Libra. I feel like you could be trying to focus on yourself, actually, with the Queen of Pentacles. You could be focusing a lot on your job, your career, your business, if you have one, you know, your financial stability or just your overall well-being, all right? Now, others of you, I feel like um, you still have feelings for them, okay? Maybe you don't really show it much with the moon card being there, um, or you're holding back from, uh, you know, going towards this person or opening up here. But yeah, some of you, you do still have a soft spot for them. But at the same time, you don't really see this person in a positive light. Maybe they caused a lot of stress or anxiety here for you with the moon card being here. So yeah, you could be holding back. Um, now they've got the three of pentacles, the knight of cups, and also the death card. Some of you, this could be a Scorpio that you were dealing with. This does speak about an ending. Yep. So some of you, this ended. Or you and this person, even if you guys are in contact, it seems like it's not very um, consistent or it could be kind of dry or random. All right. But it looks like they do want to come towards you. OK, they um, you know, they may want the two of you to be on the same page here or to at least be friends for some of you. The three of pentacles can represent teamwork, mutual effort, people getting along and cooperation. And the knight of cups can speak about a love offer or, you know, communication itself some of you they do have feelings for you and again this could be a water sign here a scorpio a cancer or a pisces but i feel like this person it's like they want to come towards you but they keep stopping themselves okay because the knight of cups this is about taking action and the death card is about an ending okay so it's like they want to come towards you but then they again um stall or stop themselves from reaching out or doing so all right and you guys know this is general so the roles can be reversed it could be you who's feeling like this at the bottom okay libra just take it how it um resonates with your situation all right so let's go through and clarify spirit please clarify the moon the Queen of Pentacles and the Judgment for Libra. Clarify the Moon, Queen of Pentacles and the Judgment. And then over there on the left, you guys, in the past position, we've got the Knight of Wands, the Hangman, could have been a Pisces that some of you were involved with. Also the King of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. So it could have been a lot of attraction or chemistry or desire between you and this person. It looks like somebody wanted to get things going, but again, was stopping themselves here. Um, with the hangman okay so maybe something came to an end or somebody just stopped putting effort into this okay you guys could have been dealing with someone who's very stubborn egotistical um, emotionally immature or emotionally unavailable all right um, spirit please clarify the moon the queen of pentacles and the judgment all right, so we've got the Five of Wands, also the Queen of Wands, and the Four of Swords. Yeah, so could have been a lot of conflict or arguments, disagreements with you and this person with this um, Five of Wands. I feel like somebody is wanting to reach out, either you or them, but may be afraid, okay, because the uh, Moon card can't speak about fear. Someone's afraid that things are just going to end up like before, okay, or back into an argument or disagreement here. It could have been competition involved or um, jealousy or just other people. Somebody could have had other options. However, at the same time, it looks like you guys are still physically attracted to them, okay? Not all of you. Some of you, you are. You still want this person. You may still miss them. But others of you, I feel like you've started to realize your worth, okay, Libra, with the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. This is um, someone who's very action-oriented, a go-getter, beautiful, attractive, someone who's got it together, okay? Or, or this is what you're seeking, all right? And um, then with the Four of Swords, this is you kind of falling back from this situation because, again, maybe you realize your worth or you may feel like this isn't really um, worth your time, okay? So you could just be taking a break from this person or some of you, you ended this permanently, okay? If this is resonating at all, you guys feel free to get in the comments and let me know, all right? Spirit, please clarify the um, Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and also the um a death card for Libra's person here clarify the three of pentacles the knight of cups and also the death card oops all right 
right so we've got the two of cups this person still has feelings for you also the eight of pentacles and the high priestess yeah so they um they know that there's a very strong connection between um the two of you here okay or at least it was in the past i feel like they still feel this though okay there's still this energetic pull between you and this person and they may want to work on this okay with the eight of pentacles they may be ready to put some effort in but they're not actually doing it that's the thing here okay guys it's the difference between them wanting to do something and them actually coming forward and saying it or doing it okay because the high priestess here is someone who's not really taking any action this is someone who's kind of silent withdrawn some of you maybe they're giving you the silent treatment or they could have ghosted you or maybe you did this to them okay libra um so we're gonna go around again and then we'll pull your advice message messages spirit please clarify the five of wands the um queen of wands and also the four of swords for libra's person here i'm um, sorry for libra up there at the top clarify the five of wands the queen of wands and the four of swords yeah someone's afraid is what i feel to um actually speak up here yep afraid of rejection or you know just whatever the case is. Spirit, clarify the Five of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Four of Swords for Libra. All right, so we've got the Page of Swords. Some of you cut this person off, yep. Um, the Page of Swords can also speak about spying, watching. So some of you, maybe you do still keep tabs on them, or you could just be you know, curious about what this person is up to. If it's not you feeling like this Libra, then it's the other person, all right? Um, but yes, the Page of Swords can also be someone who's a little bit critical or harsh sometimes. So I don't know if there were harsh words said between you and this person or if, again, you just cut them off. And then we've also got the um, Nine of Wands here. Some of you, this situation burnt you out. Yep, it drained you a lot. And, you know, some of you, you've thought about giving up on this completely or either you've already done so, okay, with this nine of wands, all right, because it's drained you a lot, okay, and with the six of pentacles being here, yes, this represents giving, it represents balance and, you know, mutual uh, you know, reciprocity here. So some of you, that's what you want. And you may feel like if this person isn't going to give it to you, then you need to just let this go. You guys may feel like this connection is um, one-sided, okay, with the Six of Pentacles. Some of you, there could be money involved in this situation. I don't know if you gave them money, loaned them money, all right, that obviously won't resonate with everyone. But I do feel like some of you are dealing with a situation where you may feel like, um, you know, it's something about this connection that makes you feel kind of uneasy, but you're still tempted to deal with this or you're not 100% over this yet. There's a part of you that's still willing to give to it, okay? Um, so let's clarify their energy again. Spirit, please clarify the Two of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the High Priestess for um, Libra's person here. Clarify the Two of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, and the High Priestess. All right. Okay, so we've got the Eight of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. Yeah, some of you, um, they walked away. Yep, or either you did. The Eight of Cups is about leaving something behind. Maybe they're focusing more on their finances at this time, or at least trying to, okay, with the Queen of Pentacles. However, it looks like they still want to come back. Okay, guys, it's like they leave and then they come right back, especially with this page of cups being here. This can represent a message or communication or love offer or something of that nature. And the cups do speak about feelings. Okay, so some of you, they haven't released you completely or they still feel this um, attachment to you. However, I still, feel like, I, I still feel like this person doesn't speak up and say much about this. Okay, Libra. Um, maybe you may feel like they're emotionally unavailable or they've been breadcrumbing you, okay, or they just give you bits and pieces with that page of cups. This can also speak about an apology too. So if they did something wrong, they may feel kind of sorry for it. Um, but that doesn't mean that they're nece necessarily going to speak up and say that, okay, you guys. So, um, only time will tell, all right. But anyway, let's pull your advice messages. Spirit, please show me three advice messages that you have for Libras. This may pertain to this connection or, <clears throat> excuse me, it could just be general messages that Spirit wants to say to you. All right. Spirit, please show me three advice messages that you have for Libras. All right, one more. Three advice messages that you want to say to Libras. 
Okay, so we have surrender your attachment to results and it says the formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen, then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it, all right? Next, we also have surrender to non-action and it says now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you, okay? And we have surrender to divine timing and it says sometimes divine timing it may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. All right, so that's what came out, Libras. If this resonated, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And also be sure to hit the bell notification as well. That way you're aware of when I upload new content. All right, wish you guys the best. Take care.